May it please this noble court, MD or Dedele, holding the brief of T.O. Oladipo. My humble appearance is for the claimant. This is how you announce appearance when you're holding brief in a Nigeria court. So basically, holding brief means that you are standing in for another lawyer. Maybe the other lawyer is late to court or cannot be in court for certain reason. And that is why you're standing in for that day, oftentimes for that day. That is basically the meaning of holding brief counsel. It's different from um, watching brief counsel. I will be making another video to explain what a watching brief counsel means. Before I proceed further, let me introduce myself. My name is Mary and I'm a practicing lawyer in Nigeria. If this is your first time watching my video, please do well to subscribe. I share a lot of videos to educate the general public. If you're a layman, you're watching me right now. There are lots of videos on my YouTube channel that can help you. As well, if you're a law school student or someone at the Nigerian Law School or the university, there are lots of content that will help you, that will prepare you ahead of the journey. So please do well to subscribe watch the sponsor had i am pleading for that watch the sponsor had and try to watch at least half into my video so let's um continue what is the position of the law as relating to holding brief in nigeria first thing you need to understand is that the court of appeal has made a lot of pronouncement that as the holding brief counsel you must be seized that is you must be abreast of the fact of your case so if you're watching me you're preparing to help someone in court probably today or tomorrow, any day you're watching this video, one thing you need to make sure you do is that be abreast of the fact of that case and prepare yourself for that case. If that matter is for motion, prepare yourself for that motion. If the matter is for examination, in chief, whatsoever the matter may be slated for, try to prepare yourself. Because if you announce your appearance and make the court to understand that, okay, you're holding the brief for so, so, so person and um, you want to, you are moving the court for an adjournment. Oftentimes, the court will or most likely um, turn that that turn down that request based on this supreme court authority i'll try and um, put some of them maybe on the screen or in the description box that is you must be seized of the fact of the case you can't just come to the court you cannot just come to the court and tell the court that you're holding brief and you want to seek an adjournment and that will be all the courts may mandate you to continue to proceed with that case and at that point what if you are not abreast of the facts, what do you think will likely happen? So this is why you need to um, prepare yourself ahead. I mentioned earlier that there is a, a court of appeal authority on that. So do your best. If you're holding brief for anyone, make the person to sit you down, tell you the fact of the case, at least a little bit of the fact of the case. What is the matter slated for so that you can prepare yourself? Is it, is it a motion? Where is the motion? Is the motion, is, is, it, is it in order? the motion number the parties everything is it in order so that when you get to court you will not um be embarrassed by anyone another point is that the position of the law is that if you're holding brief for someone and that person is from your firm that is not possible for example if i'm in court now and i'm informing the court that i am holding the brief of my boss that is not allowed we are from the same law firm the law um assume that not even assume if we are some, from the same law firm the law is of the law is of the opinion that we are on that case together so there is no issue of i'm holding the brief for my boss and i'm not mentioning his name so which means we are doing the case together i must be abreast of the fact so those are the two important um position of the law when it comes to holding brief for another case. you should also bear in mind that based on those court of appeal authority the opposing counsel the counsel on the other side can raise an objection to your um, request for an adjournment. I mentioned earlier that, that there are um, court of appeal authorities saying as a Odin brief counsel, you must be seized of the fact. So if you announce your appearance and you're pleading the, with the courts for an adjournment, the lawyer on the other side may raise an objection like, my lord, based on the court of appeal authority, based on social so authority, the court, um, the court has already held that as a holding brief counsel, you must be seized that is, you must be abreast of the facts of the case. So, which means an adjournment will not be, uh, most likely will not be granted. So, this is another point you need to bear in mind when you're preparing for your matter. So, don't allow a senior or a friend to just push you to go to court for certain appearance fee. And, oh, because of the appearance fee, let me go, let me go. Let me hold, um, um, hold this brief and get the appearance fee. You really need to prepare for that court every aspect of that matter you need to prepare for it so let me just based on everything i have explained um here are the do's and don'ts 
So the first thing is that it's a don't. Don't push too much for an adjournment. If the courts make you to understand that, as a holding brief counsel, you have to be seized of the fact of your case. Don't push too much for, oh my lord, I will still be seeking for an adjournment. So don't push too much for an adjournment, okay? So, and for you not to push too much for an adjournment, it means that you need to prepare very well. Maybe not very well, but if you can prepare very well, good. If not, get the fact of the case. What is this matter about? Is it a land transaction? Is it um just know is it a fundamental right is it a divorce petition what is this matter all about some people will proceed to court in the name of odin brief they will not even have the case file they will just get to court and call the other lawyer please what are the who are the parties what is the court number and they find themselves in court no no case file no diary nothing waiting for the for the clerk to um, call their matter and seek for an adjournment no case file and oftentimes you see the court embarrassing such counsel. Okay, so don't push too much. Don't push too much for an adjournment. Prepare well for your match. Number three, be early to court. When you get to the court, probably around eight o'clock before the court starts sitting, you can even sit and meet with the other lawyer and ask the other lawyer, okay, this is what is happening. I want to seek for an adjournment. Will you be um, will you be able to oblige me? You know, if the other counsel is not raising an objection, because oftentimes you see the judge asking the other lawyer. What is your um, counsel? You had him. Do you have any objection to the request for an adjournment? So you may be lucky if the other party is not um, objecting and if the court is even quite busy, you may be lucky and the court will grant you the adjournment. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And I will see you in another video.